when you're close to the music, it's hard to take a step back. Yeah. You have the Fool of Regret as the single here, I presume, uh -huh. and there's a video clip also with Elijah Wood for it. Can you remember the when you first heard the, the riff for the song, or the main riff? Was the main riff, actually, the first time I heard it was when we played it in, uh, we Bergen. Were in Bergen. We were on tour and we just he just jammed out this riff. And we're like, oh, that's great. You gotta remember that. <laughs> and then uh, we played with it in the rehearsal space. And that's one of the songs actually we worked on more than the other ones. Yeah. We did a few demos of that. It went through a few stages. Not yeah, it went too different. Not but too different, but more very subtle changes. Subtle changes happened to it. Yeah. So, yeah. And then it came out, and I really, we all really liked that too. What did you have to, to do to arrange it properly? Um, I think we just worked on the chorus and making just a break towards the chorus part. We got we had a different bridge part that we got rid of and then we put in the, the guitar part there and uh, yeah. Yeah, we worked on that quite a bit. Were you working on it together simultaneously or you just bounced it? Oh, well, on? yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah we were yeah. working on it together. Uh, the, the thing is, I know I said in the, earlier in the interview that it was a very quick, never kind of overanalyze anything, but but that song did go through several stages over a, a period of time. Yeah. And then we even brought, because then we did the pre-production for the record. Yeah. And then we worked on that again there, and we kind of tweaked it up a bit more. So that's tweaked what kind of happens to the song. So just, you just kind of clean it up a little bit, and then try something new and it works so yeah and then actually the, we that was the only song on the record where we added a part to just that the doo -doo 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 at the end going into the uh, that's true but also tonight is fine right? and tonight is fine yeah we had but it. yeah yeah, yeah it was just little things like that so just because of that you worked on it much more that you build maybe a sort of a relation a little bit more with this, this song in particular that uh, you wanted to not me. as a single or we don't we don't know we didn't make those yeah. oh, you somebody else decides we make the record everybody else okay. can decide it's, it's, else how they want to help us sell it yeah you want to choose one song we wrote or this song this other song we wrote it we wrote both of them it right. doesn't matter if we do a cover of a song and you want to ch choose the cover for the single well and we didn't write that then we'd have a problem but we wrote both so we wrote all of them so if you're debating which song we wrote to put out, that's a great debate to have, and we don't want to have anything to do with it. Okay, but then, uh, full of regret. What, what was, what was the first time the title came up? In you? Oh, Jesus, you know, I, I can't remember, but it was a play off the chorus already. Full of regret is. I only say that at the very end of the song, but the lyrics are just basically about two ships that pass in the night who that never hook up and. Everybody has that in their life. Someone that they like you, you like them, but you know, maybe when you're single, they're in a relationship, and when they're single, you're in a relationship, and it just never happens. Um, so that's what that song is about. And uh, it happened to you? I think it's happened to everybody. But recently, maybe is someone in mind when you sing it that you think of? Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, I might get in trouble, but yeah, you know, you know it might be about a particular person, yeah. But, um, although I've denied it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yes, uh, everybody has that, though. Everybody. Um, so that's what that song's about, really. You think this person will recognize oh, it, maybe? No. No? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. If they hear the song. <laughs> Well, let's we'll, we'll skip about it. But how, how did you want to translate this into the video? Is that something you decided, or uh, somebody else decided the idea behind it? For the, the video? Movie? Oh, yeah. the video was basically oh. we called up. Uh, we had another friend of ours who was going to direct this video. Ten days before we were supposed to shoot, we talked to the to Josh, one of the brothers who directed it, Josh and Jason Diamond, and uh, they wanted to do a video. So I said, "All right, well, you guys should do our video then. Can you do it in ten days?" They're like, yeah, okay. So everything got arranged. Then ten days later, they had an idea, and from there, they were able. They got Elijah Wood and Selma Blair. And then we ended up calling Lemmy, and then Danko emailed um, uh, Mike Watt. Mike and Watt, and then that's how it happened. Why did you want them to in, in, in the video? Or was it just you thought like just uh, give it a shot? The Diamond Brothers called us and they said, you know, uh, we got Elijah Wood. He's going to star in the video, hmm. and. We were, in, we were in Austin and the Lemmy movie was playing and, Lem, and Motorhead were playing. We didn't so. ask for Elijah Wood though. Yeah. He just, he just, so when he says yes, you, you're flattered that he wants to participate. 
Same with Selma. And then, yeah, getting, we asked Lemmy. Yeah, that's them. And Mike Watt was great. He was awesome coming down. Yeah, they, everyone did a great job. Everyone did a, a everyone was just so cool to, to, to participate in it. But was the story just about ships passing? Is that, no, no, you no, can no, see that back in video? No, the premise yeah. of the video is, is a movie trailer, and we're the main characters of this movie. You know, that doesn't exist, but uh, Lemmy's trying to kill us. Salma Blair and Elijah Wood are his hitmen. Uh, Mike Watt is the narrator of the video, and we're just running around being chased everywhere. <laughs> so that's pretty much, that's as much as I gathered from yeah. being on set. Those um, two days, we don't, we haven't seen it yet. We're gonna, it's gonna it. be ready next week, so. But it's I'll gonna be cool, to yeah. We we have rushes and little edits and footage of it, and it looks amazing. So we're very excited. Thank you for your time. Man. Thanks, right, man. Thanks, guys.